something special? You want to guard the camp like it's the Emperor's treasure? <laughs> Who's here, the Rivian Witcher? Greetings. Our paths cross often, it seems. Too often. What do you seek here? Triss Marigold. In the Nilfgaardian camp? Fistek has addled your brain. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! oh! Lower your sword, son. You've got cheek, Geralt. Let's go. Get the commander. Oh, your ambassador will never see Nilfgaard's son again. My men won't let you leave here alive. They will if you ask them to, Excellency, and I believe you will. Reynold Epladsen's orders come from the Emperor himself. Out of the way, all of you, or the old man dies. Hold there! I'm not joking. I know. And I advise you not to hesitate. Kill him. For we shan't move one bit. Renoir! He who brings me the Witcher's head will get the Order of Merit. But Ambassador Fitz Estelin. Your excellent. Orders from the capital. Now I'll have to kill you all. What are you waiting for? Get him! Yeah! Ah! 
Did you really think you could just prance in here? Make the Emperor proud! Kill him! Did you really think you could just prance in here? Make the Emperor proud! Kill him! Army's ranks are endless! Yeah! 
were my best men. Free Triss, or join them. You amaze me. How can you risk your life for a witch? Let's just say we're close. I knew it. You're in love with her. You wouldn't risk your neck otherwise, but you don't know everything about her. What are you talking about? Your friend and the other witches conspired against your rulers. You lie. You think it impossible? Triss was loyal to the crown. You're a fool. That's what happens when tits take over a man's mind. I don't believe you. That's irrelevant. During our chat, my people managed to regroup, call for reinforcements. Maybe now they'll start fighting like men. Time to show you the Empire's true power. Surround him! How can you re- Let's- How do you know that? From the best possible source. She confessed. And how did you convince her to do that? By showing her the confessions of other Lodge members. I don't believe you. That's irrelevant at this point. During our... Maybe now they'll start fighting time. Surround him!
surround him. For you guys. Long live the Emperor! Forward! Surround him! For the Emperor!
same okay. time. Shield bearers, forward! Taste our speed! you expect to see in a Nilfgaardian dungeon is the Executioner. Did they torture you? They tried various... things. But they got nothing from me. When I left Flotsam with Vernon, I somehow doubted I'd find you so soon. I know it was hard on you. I'll never forget this, you hear? Never. I'm a member. 
member of the Lodge. Just like eight other sorceresses. But if you think I'm responsible for the Lodge's actions, you're badly mistaken. The Lodge is a theater for two actresses. Sheila and Philippa have long dominated it. To the point where you didn't know about the murder they planned? To the point where I was no longer invited to gatherings. Why? They stopped trusting me. Because you didn't agree with them? Nine women very rarely agree on anything. The actual problem was that... Tell me. I was close to you. If Sheila fears anyone, it's Geralt of Rivia. The Lodge did everything to convince me that our relationship didn't bother them, even that it suited them. But they manipulated me. Through me, they fed you select information. Depending on the circumstances, they twisted facts. We're still close. They could still be doing it. Don't insult me. Calm down, Triss. Reynold Ep Madsen claimed otherwise, but I'll always take your word over that of some Nilfgaardian lowlifes. Now, you'll tell me everything you know. I need to learn the truth. All existing councils of mages disintegrated after the Thanad massacre. We all acted separately. Philippa decided to create a new organization. A secret one this time. When I was sworn in, it never crossed my mind that the Lodge's plans would soon become secret to its members. As you know, Philippa's not one for minor undertakings. She presented a plan for creating a powerful state controlled by sorceresses. No wonder the kings are opposing the sorceresses. Nobody likes a schemer. Philippa and Sheila never lacked ideas or enthusiasm. To control a powerful state, they needed to create one first. Or find a wealthy land with a suitable political arrangement and an easily manipulated ruler. Sheila chose the Pontar Valley, Demavend, and Stennis. Demavend hated mages. No more than Henselt or Redovid. Sheila and Philippa saw Demavend as the weakest ruler. His son, Stennis, blows hot and cold. Plus, he who controls the Pontar Valley controls the north. So it was in Edirne that a popular rebel emerged preaching the idea of a new state. At one of our meetings, I just asked how they imagined overthrowing Demavend. That was the last time I was invited. After Demavend's death, I became suspicious but had no evidence. Philippa brushed me off. When you went off to meet Yorveth and Sheila was busy with the Cairn's carcass, I managed to scan parts of her megascope. That's when I learned that Sheila had dealings with Letho. Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to. We never met after that. Letho must have shadowed me when I entered Sheila. Did you talk to him? He wasn't aggressive. In Vergen, he told me that Sheila commissioned them to assassinate Demavend. Them being the Witchers of the School of the Viper. Sheila helped them prepare the assassination. I wonder why he told you about it. Is that important? Conspirators who suddenly divulge everything. I'd be suspicious. There was some interference as we teleported to Edirn. I emerged intact, but pretty battered. I knew Philippa was in the area. I decided to go see her and lay my cards on the table. Maybe Letho wanted just that. I met a woman at Philippa's house. Thought she was just a servant or Philippa's lover. Before I could speak, I was overpowered by spells. I hardly expected an attack. The pain I felt as my body was compressed. It's indescribable. As if all my bones were being broken. It's even worse when you return to your true form. In any case, Philippa had no idea her lover was a Nilfgaardian spy. I was carried as that figurine all the way to Loch Buin. Asira decompressed me back just before they murdered her. Shillard interrogated me but learned nothing. If it wasn't for you, they'd have had me quartered. I didn't piece the puzzle together until I was here, in the dungeon. Now you know everything. Did Saskia know the Lodge's plans? She didn't even know the Lodge existed. Philippa told her that the sorceresses would support an independent state in the Pontar Valley, no strings attached. A fairy tale, but Saskia bought it. Saskia backed Philippa, and the people backed Saskia. 
who had Foltest assassinated? I have no idea. Perhaps after Demovan's successful assassination, Sheila and Philippa decided to take the next step. That would be stupid. Killing Demovan was a way to take control of the Pontar Valley. People would forget the regicide in a year, and the Lodge could put its plan in motion. They had to know that if Foltest died, men like Roach wouldn't rest until they learned why that had happened. One thing is certain. Letho killed Foltest, and Sheila was working with Letho. Ever find out what Sheila was actually doing in Flotsam? I find it hard to believe she went there just to kill a monster and earn a few orans. You're right, of course. It had something to do with Letho and the Scoyatel. What did she want from Yorvith? The Scoyatel were Saskia's trump card. I expect Sheila needed to know what the elves would do given that a war with Henslop was practically inevitable. That'll have to do for now. We'll learn more at the talks. You're going to attend? You have no memory of how the world worked before the Thanet Massacre. Actually, I know exactly how it worked. That means... We'll talk about my memory later. Alright. If the Council and Conclave still existed, kings wouldn't be assassinated and massacres would be less frequent. This is our chance to restore these institutions and we shouldn't miss it. Normalizing relations between the rulers and the mages who advise them is our only chance for peace. And our only chance to dismantle the Lodge. The Lodge will disintegrate anyway. Once the Kings learn it was behind the assassinations, they'll start a witch hunt. We can prevent that from happening. I'm all for punishing the guilty, but can't abide collective responsibility. I'm ready to go and reveal everything I know about Philippa Eilhart, Sheila de Tanserville, and their schemes. Let's go then. We shouldn't arrive at the same time. Let's split up. Triss. Yes? That was some mess. I wouldn't want to see you hurt like that again. Don't worry, I'll manage. See you at the talks. All right.
Hey there! special. What can I do for you? Do you play dice? Would you like to join us? Anyone else I can challenge to a game around here? Two mages, but they refuse to play us. They only play masters, but beat us, and who knows? Sure. Who would you like to play? You lose. I want... Care for a gu... to play Congratulations. You've won. Thanks for the game.
I'll not stay one minute longer in this cursed city. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Which way are we headed? We shall leave Lock Wing through the Order's camp. We won't be bothered there. Then we'll descend the mountain path and go on to the river. Who knows what we'll find? Expecting something. I Does remember you which from this room. You did mention the Vipers. Count the Baron. Maravell and Kimbolt. Blessed be the eternal... ...to the Temerian camp. Greetings. I remember you from the Zinnia chat, which I had a while back. Know them well. Too early to cry, Witcher. I'll not let you pick my brain and abandon me. seems to have been wrong. You two have a history. Or do I have it wrong? He asked a favor of me. I was to stay with Faltist's children, watch them, travel with them if necessary. Child's play, the bastard called it. That's how I wound up in the caravan transporting the children to Loch Muin for the summit. <laughs> yeah, that clearly went sour. Tell me more. Soon enough. We've just got to make it through the forest. It's a short way to the river beyond that. It should be calm. Let's go. It's not far now. Redlin awaits down by the river, at the end of this path. Is Redlin another of Roach's contacts? No, a smuggler. I'd be looking for another way out if he were Roach's man. Stay behind me. It's roaches, bitch! Kill them! Death to all sheep eaters! So, Tamaria is like a haystack, and the information I have is a burning torch. Yeah! 
Tamaria for Tamarian! This is the smuggler I spoke of. This was the smuggler you spoke of. Someone's coming. You'll not sail off, you whore! Kill her! not have survived on my own. Talk, woman. You've dragged me far away from the city. You owe me an explanation. Who were those men? Who have you been hiding from? I... I don't know. Three days like a rat, you said. And you don't know? I knew. I mean, I had my suspicions. So talk. Who's out to kill you? I don't know. There you go again. Truly, I cannot be sure. At first I thought it was revenge for the children, but he knows I'm no traitor. It's not Roach, we both know that. Yes, yes, you're right. Tell me about the Vipers. They... they created this storm. Are they working together? I would say they detest one another, or that's what they wish everyone to believe. The devil only knows. No, but I cannot imagine anyone more different from Baron Kimbolt. Meaning? I would call him a sheep were his heart not black. He's a jester, an especially nasty one, though I cannot identify his master. He may not even have one. What does Baron Kimbolt want? A strong Temeria, and a strong North. He's obsessed. He believes we're surrounded by rebels and traitors. The Lavalettes, the Maribels. He's probably not alone in that belief. But he is alone in believing that he himself is the remedy for that ailment. The Baron sees himself on the Temerian throne. He claimed he would achieve this by marrying Anais. Isn't she a little young for him? He's a disgusting old satyr. He'd be a tyrant were he to don the crown. Seems you got to know the Baron and the Count well. Then there's Roach. Pretty interesting social life, I'd say. Being a courtier, that was no life for me. I thought it terribly dull and found a remedy. Searching for excitement shouldn't get you killed. It's the last time I do anything of the sort. You can't be sure of that. Is Vernon the only person you do favors for? I've never betrayed Temeria, if that's what you ask. What happened to the convoy carrying Anais and Busi? What about the children? We were ambushed. The caravan was destroyed. I need details. We were traveling along the agreed path, with a limited escort so as not to draw attention. The children were in two separate wagons. A safety measure, I was told. Which one were you in? I was with Anais. One day a messenger appeared with orders for the caravan's commander. A change of plans. 
We turned north to travel a longer route for safety's sake. Soon after the turnoff, we were attacked. The attackers were killing everyone indiscriminately. One pulled me from the wagon, but a bolt pierced his neck. He was mayhem. I ran for the bushes and hid. Did you see what happened to the children? The driver of Boosie's wagon was shot. The horses got spooked and ran off into the forest, taking the wagon with them. When the fighting was done, they found Anais still in her wagon. I turned away for fear of what they might do. They merely grabbed her and fled. Any idea what happened to the caravan commander's orders? I have them. After they took Anais, the bastards were in a hurry. They didn't even think to search the corpses. Take them. Thanks. Sure you can manage that boat? I must. I'll not return to the city. Thank you again, Witcher. And follow this through. You'll do us all a favor.
wonder how many more we have.
magic or danger. I remember you yes. in Vizina.
I remember you from this year. Blessed. I but shall pray for you. Get rest. I shall pray for you. Greetings. May the eternal fire light your way. Greetings. I shall pray for you.
I believe there's been a misunderstanding, my lord. Get out before I call my guards. And what might I convey? Nothing. Baron, sir, you gave your word. For the last time, out! Tend to this matter. Who was that thug I passed in the doorway? He's of no concern to you. People like him sometimes do stupid things. Did I ask for your opinion on the matter? The convoy carrying Anais and Busi was ambushed. Why? I'd like to know that myself. I've seen your letter to Horst Lubbock, the one in which you ordered him to abandon the planned route. Nonsense! I send no such letter. The letter bears your seal and signature, Baron. Where is it? I have it. Show me. You'll have to take my word. The word of a wandering monster slayer means nothing to me. If that's the situation, I've said all I have to say. I wrote no such letter. Words come cheap, Baron. I'm finding it hard to believe you. I care little for what you believe. If this letter exists, we are dealing with a forgery. Whoever is behind this has crossed a Temerian noble and will be duly punished. My scribe will test the letter and confirm what I claim. All right. I'll see what this scribe has to say. There are objective means of examining the letter's authenticity. I promise to pay you well for learning the truth. Hmm. The truth does taste better when payment's involved. Calling me sauced. Drunker than a ah, bard. Won't get anything out of him. Of Maybe there's something about like testing letters in his notes. According to the scribe's notes, if this is Kimbolt's letter, the paper it's written on was treated with an invisible dye. An activator should bring out the dye, turning the paper blue. Now for the activator's formula. Better try it on some drafts first. How did it go? Light, quench, shit, rinse. Thus you will the facts evince. To read the truth by lies deformed, guano into piss transform. need to make the substance that will bring out the dye and apply it to the letter.
destroyed that letter. I need to be more careful. I need to make this... How did it go? Light, quench, shit, rinse. Thus you will the facts evince. the vapors and run them through cold water to obtain the final substance. All right, let's try this on Kimbolt's letter. I need to make the substance that will bring out the dye and apply it to the letter. A little burnt lime. A bit of water. Everything's better with a dash of bird guano. Wait for it to dissolve. It smells like paste, but it worked. The sheet's orange, not blue. The letter's fake. Kimbolt had nothing to do with this. Water quenches lime like beer quenches. You were right, Baron. The letter's forged. Of course I was right. I would never seek to hurt Boosie. Bastard or not, he is still a child. Your payment, Witcher. I want you to look into another matter. What would it involve? Count Linus Maravel. You've heard the name? Young, capable, handsome. Yeah. Yes, yeah, all that and more. And he's ambitious to a fault. Right after the Temerian delegation arrived in Loch Ween, his people began visiting the Nelfgaardian camp, regularly. Are you suggesting Maravel's a traitor? We are all entitled to communicate with the Ambassador without chagrin and openly, as court and diplomatic protocols allow. Yet the Count's multiple messengers, the letters traveling to and fro, it reminds me more of a complicated courtship. You're curious to know the content of those letters. I want you to learn the Count's plans. The man would sell his mother to please the Emperor. Find out what Maravel's messenger is carrying. If treason is involved, you must alert John Natalis. You will be generously rewarded, I assure you. You need a witcher to do this? Do not underestimate Count Maravel. He does not employ common scoundrels, and I don't intend to either. Hieronymus Lash. Sound familiar? A pretentious invented name belongs to a bard or a mummer, I'd say. But you wouldn't need my help with either of those, so I'll venture a guess. Maravel entrusts his correspondence to a mage. I knew you were suited to this task. The magic barrier placed over the city mutes all forms of high magic, preventing Lash from contacting Schillard remotely. He nevertheless remains dangerous. During the times of the previous conclave, I believe he was caught practicing black magic. He faced execution, but that Laos Maravel saved him. How do I locate this messenger? Look for my man, Aldrich, by the fountain here in the camp. He'll point the mage out to you. All right, I'll look into it. My lord, we know where they are. What are your orders? Bloody wonderful. You've charmed the Baron, but that don't mean I trust you, Wanderer. Remember that. Hmm?
Hmm? Kingslayer. Master Witcher! What do you want? My lord, the Right Honourable Count Maravel requests the pleasure of your company. He says it's urgent. Seems like everything is these days. Tell the Count I'll think about it. Aldrich, Baron Kimbold said you'd point Hieronymus Lash out to me. Perfect timing. Come with me. Undeniably an interesting personage. Patience, mate. They should be here any minute. Look, then I've done my bit. Up to you now. We've got a tail. Stop him. Stop there, white one. What if I don't? Then I'll fucking help you! I'd like to see you try. Consider it done! For yeah. Natalis!
会真。It's you. Last, we can explore the hitherto inaccessible districts, and here's your reward. I found a manuscript that might help. Interesting. This volume is sealed by ancient magic. Only highly valuable things get that kind of protection. Too true. Do you know how to unlock it? I need ingredients that can be obtained from certain monsters. Unfortunately, they don't occur around here. I'll need the pheromones of a Queen Endriga, the blood of a Necker warrior, and the brain of a Bulvor. We can substitute the tongue of a rot fiend for the harpy's egg. Quite a list. I'll see what I can find. I'll need the pheromones of a Queen Endriga, the blood of a Necker warrior, and the brain of a Bulvor. We can substitute the tongue of a Rotfiend for the Harpy's egg. Quite a list. 